the gentleman. One of the issues that we want on the table here is revenue. The top 400 wealthiest people in the United States of America pay 17 percent tax rate. My constituents in Youngstown and Akron, Ohio, pay a heck of a lot more than 17 percent. And we hear our friends on the other side how all of these changes need to occur, how all of these problems need to be solved. But heaven forbid, Mr. Speaker, we ask the 400 wealthiest families in the United States of America to maybe be a little bit patriotic and help us out. And you'll say, well, these are the job creators. These taxes aren't going to go into place for another year or two. We've got to get through this downturn. But we need to send the message to the bond market that we are serious. And for us to be this irresponsible and not ask the wealthiest, what are they being asked to sacrifice here? What are the top 1%? What are we asking them to sacrifice? As additional 15 seconds? Yes, I yield an additional 15 seconds. And seconds. one final point. The debt that we now are debating was run up by our friends on the other side. Two wars, the Bush tax cut, and a prescription drug plan, all on the credit card. And now the same people who have worked their way up in the leadership positions are saying we're not going to pay the bill. This is irresponsible. Let's solve this in a balanced way, and let's ask for some shared sacrifice. Gentleman from Wisconsin.